So as you can see we're starting from a base coat of Wraithbone spray. I also did a very quick layer of the Wraithbone base paint over all the areas that didn't catch the spray very well. Then I'm going to base coat all the pink areas using a mix of three parts, dark coat flesh and one part Volopus pink. Our layer of dark of flesh and volopus pink is now dry and as you can see it's probably not my best work but I didn't care very much because first of all all the trim was around causing some problems and also I'm going to do quite a lot of work on this panel so it wasn't really that important. First of all I'm going to glaze this the flesh on the upper parts of those panels. So this is the kind of consistency I'm going for. So I'm going to highlight towards the top, very slowly, working the kiss of flesh. In thin layers. So, as you can see, always towards the top panels. And along with those glazes, I'm going to edge highlight all the panels. This edge highlight doesn't have to be the thinnest, just a way to define all the panels on the armor. With my first highlight of Gives the Flesh now done, I'm going to glaze a bit of Bolopus Pink into the lower parts of the panels. This is the sort of consistency I'm going for. And I will just do just what I did in the upper half, but with Polypus Pink brushing from the upper side into the lower part. As you can see, I'm covering all my edge highlights on the lower side with this, but on the second layer, I won't. So, I'm going to do it in the second layer of this. And as you can see, I'm more concentrated and more focused. And now it's time to have a bit of fun, because I want these panels to look like they are flayed skin. And to emphasize that look, I'm going to take fine slurred flesh and paint lines as they were made from a stitched part of flesh. And as you can see, you can you can maybe see there's a bit of a line here where this contrast didn't set properly. So I'm going to take advantage of that and apply my lines, emphasizing those. This is fire layer flesh as I told you, and I'm just going to paint lines with this. And as well as those lines, I'm going to make the stitched lines. So I'm going to make a small perpendicular lines to those.
So with that done, it doesn't look particularly well now. I find your lack of faith disturbing. But we still have more things to do. I'm going to take Kisla Flesh again, and I'm going to, first of all, define those better. I'm going to highlight the holes where the where the string punctuates the skin, and also edge highlight the separation between the skin parts, patches, like that, and like that. So with those highlights done, I'm going to take a rack of flesh and I'm going to paint in the string used to stitch together those pieces of flesh. So you want to paint a line of rack of flesh inside the line of fire layer flesh. You're probably going to ask me what brush I'm using. If we just take it out of the way, this is my Rosemary & Co. Series 33 size 2. And you can see, just with that detail added, this looks much, much better. With that out of the way, and now I I know I like how big those stitches are and how they are placed. I can take flat one flesh, and I'm going to edge highlight all the pieces of skin, especially here around the where the where the stitches come into it. And here on the top, because it's a very rounded part, I'm going to place in a highlight here. I'm just taking flat one flesh, I'm just thinning it down and just painting the highlight. And now for the last step on the flesh pink part, I'm going to use palette with flesh, and I'm going to both highlight the stitches. So just dots at the end of each stitch and also the brightest highlights on the skin parts. Finally, I want to add a bit more contrast, and now that I, that I know where everything is, I'm going to take again the glaze of Bolipus Pink, like that, and I'm just going to gently and very carefully apply just a couple of layers of this, each taking less and less space to the lower part that will also help make that edge highlight a bit thinner if you want, just be very, very careful. I just want to make it a bit more pink. And I will also add a bit of this towards the lower sections of the rest of the skin patches. 